Hey, Dad? What's Master Roshi like? Well, he looks like a feeble old geezer, but he's super strong. Really? Though, it's a real shame he's kind of a massive pervert. Yeah, he was my rival at the time, but now he's my best friend. Is Krillin strong, just like you? Yeah, seriously, out of all the guys I know, he's definitely up there. There's also a woman I know named Bulma. See, she was looking for the Dragon Balls when she ran into me, and we ended up going on adventures together. If we hadn't done that, I probably wouldn't have met Master Roshi and the others. I see. Not too much longer until Master Roshi's place. Goku! Yo! Oh, and who's this little guy? Meet my son. What? what? Your, your son? Yeah. Nice to meet you. Oh, uh, n nice to meet you too. His name is Gohan. Gohan? Oh, so you named him after your grandpa, huh? Yeah. Suits him, don't you think? Goku, have you been training lately? Well, not as much as I want to. Chi-Chi gets pretty angry if I train too much, you know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah, I haven't trained myself either. With Piccolo taken care of, things have been pretty quiet. Hey, you two, what are you talking about? Uh, uh, uh nothing really. Hmm, I could have sworn you two were talking about how you've both been slacking off on your training. <sighs> Guess there's no fooling you, is there, Master Roshi? It would seem you've both forgotten that training is a daily activity, not something you do only on special occasions. You should be moving, learning, playing, eating, and resting every day. That's the way of the turtle school. I can't argue with you there. Now... To make sure you two never forget your daily training, I've got a little challenge for you. Come report back to me once you've finished your training. Yes, sir, Master Roshi. Yes, sir, Master Roshi. Now, time to get back to my usual enjoyment. What's up? All right. Huh? <laughs> What's this? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Man, I'm low on energy. 
So, he's got your looks, but does he have your power too? I'm betting that he's pretty strong if I had to guess. But I can't be sure since Chi-Chi won't let me train him to find out one way or the other. Hey, Dad? What was that? Hmm, not sure. What is it? It ain't no meteor! Just as I thought, the creatures on this planet are still alive. Kakarot's failed us. Uh, who or what are you? A power level of only five? What trash. Uh, stay back! Blah! Is this the best this planet can muster? Well, now, here's a large power reading. Distance 4880. Kakarot? <laughs> what in the world could that have been? I've never felt a power like this. Not sure what this is, but I better check it out. Well now, this could be fun. It isn't Goku. But if it isn't him, then who is it? Chee, so it wasn't Kakarot after all. Who the hell are you? I don't have time to waste with you. Wait a minute. This is a Namekian, isn't it? What the hell is a Namekian doing on this planet? If that's true, then what are you even doing here? You got a death wish? <laughs> You've got spunk, I like that. Hmm. A power level of 322, huh? You're definitely stronger than the others. But you wouldn't even be a warm-up for me. You're making a mistake in underestimating me. Let's see if you can make this fun for me. Just what is it with this guy? <laughs> No way! That was pathetic. Huh? 
My turn now. <clears throat> I'm getting another large power reading. That's got to be Kakarot. <clears throat> Im impossible. Who the hell is this guy? And where is he going? <laughs> well, if it isn't Kakarot, you've grown. You look just like our old man. What? Tell me, Kakarot, what is this? You were supposed to exterminate all life on this planet. What have you been doing all this time? Huh? Who are you? And who's Kakarot? Should I know? You've got to be kidding me. You don't remember. Fine then. Allow me to refresh your memory. You're not from this filthy planet. You were born on planet Vegeta. You're a member of the proud and mighty warrior race, the Saiyans. And that's not all. I'm your older brother, Raditz. You're lying! That can't be true! Long ago, you were sent to this pathetic planet to rid it of all life! We say and search the universe for habitable planets and wipe out all who live there so that we can sell those planets to the highest bidder. We snot-nosed brats like you are sent to low-level planets like this. And fortunately, it looks like this one's got a moon. If this guy's telling the truth, then these Saiyans are some real bad dudes. Wait. What about the moon? What does that have to do with anything? Don't play dumb with me. We Saiyans release our true power whenever there's a full moon. Even I don't know what you're talking about. You know, I think Krillin's right. You guys are the worst. My name's Son Goku and I'm from Earth. Take your lies and get out of here! <laughs> well, I couldn't even if I wanted to. Because Planet Vegeta was blown to smithereens by a meteor. Almost all of our brethren have been turned to space dust now. 
Uh, including me and you, there are only four Saiyans left. Just the other day, we found a planet that should fetch us a high price. The three of us were going to have a hell of a time trying to overtake it. And that's when I remembered you. Kakarot, the planet is as good as ours if you join us. Come on, Kakarot, think of the fun we'll have. Isn't your Saiyan blood boiling with excitement? Just shut up! If you think I'm joining you, then you're dumber than you look. Huh. Fine. Be that way. That little runt with the tail behind you is your kid, right? I guess I'll just take him instead. Huh? Come any closer and I'll knock you sky high! Back off! <laughs> oh yeah? Well, go ahead if you think you can. Gohan's not going anywhere with you! Uh, what the hell's with this guy? What's wrong? You scared? You're not my brother! You're nothing to me! Yeah, go on, get out of here! Kakarot, don't turn your back on your family! Your people! What in the hell happened to your tail? I had it cut off a long time ago! Why would you do that? Do you know what? This planet isn't half bad. I think it could serve as our next target. The three of us Saiyans should be able to rid this place of its dead weight in just one month. Not gonna let that happen! Your kid's in real trouble if this is the best you can do. What? Don't worry, Kakarot. I'll make sure to take good care of the boy. If you want him back, then you better do as your big brother says. Give him back. And don't even think about trying to be a hero. <laughs> no! No! Bulma, you still got that dragon radar? Oh, I get it! That decoration on Gohan's hat was a dragon ball! All right, I'm off! It's now or never! You're as good as dead on your own! Piccolo! Neither of us has what it takes to face him head on. At least if we tried on our own. But together, if we were to team up, we just might be able to take him down. Yeah, you're probably right. But can I really trust you? What's your angle in all this? Don't get the wrong idea. It isn't that I care in the slightest about your little kid or the Earth. That fool is the only thing standing between me and world domination. The moment he and his cronies are out of the picture. I'd finally rid myself of you. Then the world will be mine for the taking. You're crazy if you think I'm about to let that happen. But for now, I guess we gotta join forces. I guess there's really no getting around that. Precisely.
Give me a break. Thank you! <sighs> hey! Yeah! Flying Nimbus! Hold tight, Gohan! We're coming! Earth's dream team to the rescue! <laughs>